This is what Halo looks like in Unreal Engine 5. A former Halo Infinite developer, Caleb Nekumenish, has created what Halo fans have wanted for the longest time a flood survival horror game. The description of this reads, return to Alpha Halo and learn the mysteries of the Mona Lisa while trying to survive a flood outbreak. Just reading that description alone gives me major Dead Space vibes. And Caleb has actually brought in a lot of really great 3D artists within the Halo community involved with this project, most notably Halo VFX, we all know him for his amazing 3D animations that we all wish were actual shows and movies. And the cool thing about this entire setting is that the ship itself, the Mona Lisa, is an actual ship in Halo lore. The Mona Lisa was a prison ship that was in service during the late years of the Human Covenant War. It was later utilized as a research laboratory for the Flood in order to find ways to control the parasite. So they would actually bring on Sangheili prisoners on the ship as test subjects. But just as you see in the game right here, same thing as the lore that there was a flood breakout and while well, things didn't really go exactly the plan. An experience like this has been something Halo fans have been dying for for over a decade at this point mainly because the flood always touch on the sense of fear and horror bringing these elements into a sci-fi action-packed shooter so halo fans have always wondered what if we turn the knob a little bit more towards that horror aspect right maintaining the amazing gunplay and feel that halo has but putting it in a setting that's more vulnerable and just terrifying. The closest thing I've played to something that matches this type of vibe within Halo would have to be the Left 4 Dead 2 mod that replaces all the zombies with flood outbreak characters. So you get that spooky environment while also having the crazy gameplay of well Left 4 Dead. And while the mod for that is amazing, it doesn't quite scratch that itch that people have been wanting for the longest time a flood survival horror game. And after watching the trailer, this is definitely giving me that vibe that people have been wanting for the longest time. Like I mentioned earlier, absolutely feeling like Dead Space landing on a ship and trying to figure out what happened. Now the developer of the Mona Lisa, Caleb, hasn't really provided a whole lot of details on what this experience is going to be. This is a fan-made project so it's not going to be on Steam, it's going to be on a different listing website. And when it comes to the gameplay, from what we've seen on just the trailer itself, it does seem to be a bit more of a vibe type of experience, right? You land on a ship, appreciate the graphics and the lighting that the Unreal Engine 5 can provide for potentially the future of Halo as we've seen from various leaks and rumors, right? But there actually looks to be some form of gameplay as well. You see the player character turn back and shoot at something. We hear the sound of the flood chasing after them. So hopefully there'll be some form of gameplay tied in with this. Now I'm not expecting a whole lot of crazy stuff mainly because this is probably more of a tech demo, maybe more of a resume booster, if you will. So don't expect this project to be a full-fledged out actual video game of a flood survival horror game, but more something to kind of give a fun, quick little experience that will give you the vibes that we've all wanted for so long to experience with the flood, which funny thing is that we haven't actually played against the flood in a Halo game since Halo 3, which to me, just seems wild. For how crucial of a role the Flood played in the original trilogy of Halo games, to not really ever go back to that besides Halo Wars 2 feels like such wasted potential that we just haven't had a chance to really experience in with modern technology in a Halo experience and that's what Caleb's looking to bring here with the Mona Lisa. Utilizing an actual ship from Halo lore, an actual Flood outbreak that happened on the ship in the backdrop of Installation 04, Alpha Halo, the first Halo that you land on back in Combat Evolved. And of course, this being built in Unreal Engine 5 kind of leads into what all the leaks and rumors that we've heard are that, which are very credible, right? Coming from like people like Jason Schreier saying that the Halo franchise is looking to pivot to the Unreal Engine to be able to make in the future games. And so this might be a slight bit of a sneak peek into what kind of visual fidelity we could get within a Halo game. What could the feel be like? That's the biggest concern, right? About switching engines that everyone's gonna wonder, how is it gonna feel? Is it gonna be able to maintain that same kind of shooting mechanics and movement and physics that we see within Halo that we've come to know and love? 
Can that be maintained switching over to the Unreal Engine? And while I'm not putting that type of pressure on this project, the Mona Lisa, but that's just gonna be something that we're all gonna be thinking of in the back of our minds, right? Whenever we see anything Unreal Engine and Halo related together, people are gonna start thinking, could we get this for the next 343 release? It's tough to say. Now, I do know that Caleb is a huge fan of Halo, not only just working on Halo Infinite before the release of the game, but also just as a fan in general, right? He's made countless pieces of art, and now this fan project comes out of nowhere, which looks amazing and something then I need to jump in and play. Though Mona Lisa is set to release relatively soon, according to Caleb, and once it is out, you know I'll be sharing with you guys what the experience is like about this project and how the potential of gameplay or vibes or walking simulator it might be, and if it's something worth downloading for you guys or just watching on YouTube. If you guys wanna see some more videos like this, a like and subscribe is always appreciated, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace out.